they figured it out towards the end, but they didn't. Not they weren't good enough. Luckily, there's. I think the. There, go ahead. There's not a huge amount to Saturday Night Slam Masters. No. There is three. I think buttons. it was mostly them trying to figure out how to do things like finishers and that kind of thing. If I remember right, there is three buttons. I think it's actually only two in the first one. Jump and yep. attack. Actually, no, there was a pin button. Or you grapple yeah. or you pin. Yeah, exactly. And neither one of them was doing that for half of the game, so... I suppose I don't know what I expected, getting burned up by the uh, thruster there. A little bit of a shock. I mean, there's also uh, Capcom being uh, pretty big on making everything a part of the Street Fighter universe now, so... Yeah, I mean, there are lots of characters that they could probably mine for that game, if they wanted to, out of Saturday Night Slime Masters. At this point, they really should just put in, put, they should just give us Guy and Hager, let them all be in the same damn game for a change. <laughs> Unless they would like to give me Lucia and Dean, that would be great too, I would love that, give me that. Or Maki. Let us, cool. let us again pretend that Final Fight 3 exists and we remember it. I've never played Final Fight 2 or 3, actually. If, if only, uh... If only Nintendo Online had that going for it. Super Nintendo games. Maybe one day. Someday somebody will heed Valve's advice where if there's an underserved market, there is profit to be had. Mm -hmm. Especially in this case. Yep. Gee, I wonder why people keep emulating it. Maybe it's because they want to play those games. Maybe if you made the uh, service that was uh, you know, on par with what emulation provides, people would actually pay for it. That's nuts. It's, it's a crazy concept, I know. It's not as if it hasn't been repeatedly proven out. <laughs> Sounds fake, but okay. I'm still pretty, uh, pretty salty that Kudami hasn't just done a, uh, a Goemon collection because like there's exactly eight games worth playing so it would work perfectly fine Goemon can't make a pachinko out of that I think they did <laughs> I can't remember yeah they probably did they've probably made several I wouldn't be surprised if they did oh oh boy it's Mr. X, the final boss of Streets of Rage 3. Well, that's neat, but I'm just going to stand here and keep hitting you. Although, in all honesty, seems to be working out pretty well so far. Also, who the hell is this guy? It just kind of came out of nowhere. By the way, here's the final boss. Here's Necron. I haven't been this confused since I got to the end of, uh... How what was it? King of Monsters 2.
which had a plot, but fuck you if we told you what it was. Yeah. Uh oh. Seeing as how that uh, rear part of the deck uh, didn't get very far. Hmm. Oh. Whoa. It's a frickin' Megazord. We're missing a couple parts, I think. <laughs> So here we are fighting the final boss again. Punching him in his ginormous brains, maybe. <laughs> I feel like perhaps the uh, the right arm wasn't quite on the proper level to hit. <laughs> that was kind of the impression I was getting. And what is this dude's name? Master Brain, I guess, probably? Probably not Mother Brain. Looks like a he to me. Probably Mr. Brain. Both of but, you know. Maybe it's like uh, M. Bison. Mike Brain. <laughs> Mike the TV? I can't remember what the, what the price he constantly named was. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine, ninety-nine. I basically can't ever forget it. It was, it was hammered in there pretty good. I can hear it in my head, but I'm just like, I can't actually specifically remember the number. I just remember the noise he makes. That was, that was it, what I just did. Oh, we're being timed? Oh, shit. Or rather, we were That's being... That's a giant laser. Or we were being timed for something. Oh, we're still being timed. Perhaps not anymore. Maybe it was until the countdown to death... Like, fucking death laser. Yeah. We can't be inferior to humans. We were created by you to be superior. You became monsters because of you. Oh, that's deep. Humanity is the real monsters. Um. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, enough of that. So wait, what happens if I just fucking let that face go? That's an excellent question. I'm sure we're never going to get the answer because we're probably not going to do that again. Also, the other two playable characters are here. Why? Uh -huh. Load bearing boss. Gallagher. I'm really confused, Blake. Games that only had three players, but they had four playable characters. And then they would show all four playable characters in cutscenes and stuff. It's like, okay, but. You've already, clearly, just make it four players. you've already clearly established that, like, there wasn't four people here the whole time. There was up to three. Game logic. Okay, so is this thing blowing up? <laughs> yeah. Why did we need to evacuate? It's not blowing up. Uh, we also misspelled uh, justice there. <laughs> Nobody played as me, but that's okay.
Okay, give us your coordinates. Uh, space. Somewhere in there. Ah, you know the place. Right there by the thing. Hayed Quarter. <laughs> Lead us to the Hayed Quarter. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but okay. <laughs> and then she punched him, I guess, for some reason. What's with this lost sassy child? <laughs> oh shit, there's more more letters than I'm used to. Game, you gotta like tell me before you do these things. Wait, why are there so many damn letters you could have? Christ, we're done. Oh yeah. <laughs> you get my name. We'll make a million games where you can only put in three letters and then surprise, five. What? Well, no credits? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck no you, you beat, you beat the game. You got we got our money. Get out of here. That is that is something else. Wow. <laughs> Thanks for spending your money. Go home. Go do something else. Yeah. I feel like that's essentially what we're being told here. That's what it seems like. Well, uh, well, I hope you enjoyed that cutscenes, but we're, uh, that's all we got, sorry. Yep. Sure, we could have had, like, the scrolling credits over the, uh, the ship exploding and just throw the dialogue over it, but... Or over the picture of the guy getting hit by the kid. But, ah, uh, how would you see the kid hitting the guy? One thing I was very grateful for, having recently watched Endgame, is that there are no post-credits uh, sequences. Really? That's bizarre. Wow, spoilers. I'm confused. Yeah. Well, it actually kind of confuses me and weirds me out. Well, there's a thing that happens at the end, but there's no actual, like, oh, this is what happened afterwards type thing. They, they were very clearly ending an era with that movie. Now on to the next phase of Marvel movies. Yep, under phase four, I believe we're on now. Oh, so it doesn't count as spoilers anymore. Marvel said it's okay. Yep. Spoilers. Also, I don't think it's a spoiler to tell people there's no after credit scene. <laughs> I mean, it's a three hour long movie. So if you sat through the whole thing, you, you, you need to get out of there anyway. <laughs> so you probably want to know, do <laughs> please, I need to wait for this you know, with, with after credits? Yeah. He'll say, spoiler, Spider-Man's alive. Mysterio is there. It's not Bruce Campbell is Mysterio, though. He's too old. Sorry, yeah, Bruce Campbell. Like yeah. We'll just have I mean, to make... I mean, Jake is an able replacement, but, you know. We'll just have to make do with, uh... Get shit, wasn't, he Bruce... wasn't Bruce Campbell Mysterio in, like, Spider-Man 2 or something? The game? No, he wasn't. He was, let's see, in the first movie, he was the announcer uh, who gave Spider-Man his name. In the second movie, he was, um, basically, there was, like, this play that Mary Jane was in, and Peter was late for it, and he basically kept him from getting in. Oh, well, yeah, I remember that. Spider -Man. Yeah. Because Bruce Campbell forget, was like... Oh, yeah, in the third movie, he was the waiter who Peter, uh, you know, tried to set up to, uh, set up to, to try to marry Mary Jane, like, to come, you know, present the ring. So I remember he was like, I'm the only guy that's ever actually defeated Spider-Man, like, in a straight, straight encounter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess he was only, uh, he was only the, narr uh, the narrator in the Spider-Man games. Hmm. Anyway, that was Armored Wars. That's all of Capcom beat him up bundle. Yep.
Cause fuck you, we're, we'll we're not gonna add aliens versus predator to this. Yeah, you know, that makes all the sense in the world. Buy our two hundred and fifty dollar arcade stick. <laughs>